I was on a video call with one of my friends when he started screen sharing on his Mac and when it popped up, it looked something like this. And I was like, what the hell is this? Like, what am I even looking at? And he goes, this is my workspace that I built for myself. I'm like, what? There's no way, like this is a regular Mac, you actually use it like this? And he's like, yeah, it's just a Mac terminal. So on this panel, I can keep track of stocks and currencies in real time, and I also have a weather widget, a calendar, I have my news and RSS feed here, I have a Spotify player for music, and then I have a system monitor, like a pretty extensive one, and I also have a file manager thing. And all of this, because it's a terminal app, was only being made with text characters. Even a YouTube video that was being streamed in was being made with exclusively text characters. So at this point, when I'd just been shown this, the first thought I had was like, this is crazy. I didn't even know that Max could even be run like this, or at least have the degree of functionality that this had in a terminal. But the second thing that came to my mind was like, why would anybody do this? Like, why would you ever run your computer in a terminal like this when there's like a really nice GUI that's built into Mac OS? My friend says he uses it because he wanted to build a customized workspace that was extremely minimal and has everything he needed in one space. So this is how he does it. And if you wanna try it out for yourself, there'll be details in the description. But it turns out every modern Mac can do this out of the box. This isn't some crazy Linux install, this is just a Mac terminal, a program that gives you command line control of your system. But my friend doesn't use the default terminal program that comes with Mac OS, he uses one called Ghosty. And because he's a developer, he spends a lot of his time looking at code in an app called Helix. And he's tweaked his workspace to have very particular colors, like he's built this color palette of low contrast pastel colors that also match the like six colors on the Apple logo or the old Apple logo, but he wanted very specific colors to indicate certain elements in his code. He also showed me this crazy way to stream YouTube videos in here. So if you'll remember, terminal apps only support text characters, but if you decrease the font size of that text enough, you can get it to a high enough resolution so you can actually make sense of what it is that you're watching. Uh, there's also a browser that he'll occasionally use that also does something similar. It's called Browse, and it renders any kind of like graphics-based HTML as colored text characters. Again, it's not individual pixels, it's just colored text blocks that are simulating pixels. But keep in mind that if my friend actually wanted to watch a video or do something that had any kind of graphics on it and he wanted to do it properly, he would just alt tab into the regular Mac OS and just do whatever he wanted to do in like Safari or a regular browser. But the fact that it's able to be done at all in a text-based space is crazy. Also, I saw a Nintendo emulator that was running in the Mac terminal. It's like playing Nintendo games in a text-based terminal. Now, ultimately, the reason why my friend even uses this whole text-based environment is for productivity. He wants to be focused in his work and like this is his way of dealing with distractions because if you don't have access to really nice browsers and like really functional graphics, you tend to just do your work, at least in his mind, that's why he does it. Now, I can absolutely see this being useful for certain types of workflows and people just want like a very minimal workspace. So the reality is that when I first saw this, when he first showed this to me, my first reaction after just like laughing at it is that this is way too hardcore for myself to use. Like this is not the type of workflow that I want. However, after I set it up, because I had to set it up to just kind of experience it and recreate it so I can show this stuff to you, there's something really charming about this environment. It's hard to describe in words, but it feels so analog and so old school. And the fact that you're doing it on Apple hardware, like this isn't like a typical Linux system, right? This is a regular MacBook. And if you ever want to leave that environment, just go into Mac OS, it's literally an alt tab away. So I don't think this is for everyone. Like certainly not. This is, <laughs> this is definitely not like an everyday daily driver for the vast majority of people. But I think if you've ever been interested in this stuff, the fact that Apple can do this out of the box, like without any kind of crazy installs, is like a 15 minute setup. It's pretty cool. So I'm putting it out there. It is a very weird way to use your Mac, but if you're interested, now you know about it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video.